Well, hello there. If you're here, and I'm here, that means we're doing a little something special today. Uh, you'll notice this isn't a video game related video, no. Bones told y'all we're going to be doing a new segment, and this is that segment. This is called Storytime for Grown-Ups. Um, as the name implies, there may be a little, you know, swearing here and there, a little profanity. Nothing worse than that, but just, you know, some profanity, so... If you are somebody of a delicate eared nature, or you got little ones around, maybe, like, you know, little babies and stuff, y'all don't want them hearing that stuff. Come on now. Get some common sense here. So, uh, watch this later then, maybe, eh? Or with headphones. But if you are of the adult variety, then it's about damn time y'all got your own stories, don't you think? I do. Y'all know me. I'm Gary, the frog puppet, and from the uh, deep swamps of New Orleans and uh, relocated to Michigan, which is crazy, crazy weather. See what it did in my eyes? Look at that. It wouldn't like that normally, baby. I have black eyes. Look at this. They're crazy. I don't even know what that is. I look like I, I'm like the moon slapped the shit out of my face. The hell? All right. This first story is one y'all really going to enjoy. Um, some of y'all know this. Well, you think you know it. You know what you was told as a little kid about the three belly goats grub. But that is not how shit went down. I'm going to tell you all the real story. And I call this one Three Gangsta Goats. Because those were the toughest ass goats I've ever seen. And I was there. That's how I know. So, if y'all want to pause this real quick and get yourself something to drink. Get yourself a snack. You know, this is your relaxing time. These stories are for you to unwind, baby. Laugh a little. Enjoy them. So, pause me real quick. I'll just keep talking, so, you know, uh, now's a good time to pause right now. Okay, well, I'm assuming that you are back, or you never left, lazy ass. Alright, so let's get this little shindig started, shall we? Now, you know, when I was a little, a little younger, a little problem, wasn't a polywog, I was older than a polywog, we'll say. Um, I was chilling out in this meadow, because it had some nice weeping willows, had a little pine by it. Um, but they had a problem here, y'all. They had a good community of goats, but the grass, not the best grass. It was starting to dry up. They were eating it faster than the grass could grow, you know. Normally, goats eat in an area. They move on. They move on. Well, this was an isolated little patch, and uh, they couldn't move on nowhere across this creepy old bridge. But no goats wanted to cross that bridge. See, because there was something under there that was called a troll. And they nasty. They're huge. If you ever look at a dinner plate, imagine that. That's one of the eyes. So, like that and yellow, like my eyes. See, like this moon yellow here they got going on. And uh, just huge teeth. Huge teeth. Think like a, a butcher knife or steak knife. That's one tooth. Imagine a whole tooth, you know, mouthful of them. Nasty. Um, and dark brown fur like a big grizzly bear. So anyways, now that y'all got a little context here, I remember chilling out there and I'm doing my thing. I'm trying to, you know, eat, eat a fly here and there. Well, well I'm sitting there doing my little frog calls. Raw, raw. Come back, girl. And then uh, what happened is uh, these goats, they hold a little goat meeting, you know. And that's what they called it, I swear to God. I think some of them might have been eating some jimson, some jimson weed, I don't know. And they were uh, like, uh, yo, Billy Goat Scruff, you guys are the three toughest around here. And they were. Billy Goat Scruff were kind of like those dudes in your community who, uh, you know, everybody got them in their neighborhood. They're the dudes that nobody crosses. If they say something, it, it happens. And if you got a problem with this guy or that guy or that guy, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody knows those guys. These three were all those guys. They were three brothers, and they rolled together, and they fought together. That's how they was, baby. They were tight. So, these goats plead with them, look, man, we gotta do something. We're running out of grass, and we gotta cross the bridge there. We got us another thing we can do, but we can't get to it, because, uh, we got this stupid troll, and this troll, he keeps trying to kill us and eat us, and he, he got, you know, we got Tim last week, and Tim was a good goat, man. He had wife and kids. They're right over there. 
And the three billy goats are like, look, we'll handle this. Now the youngest billy goat, Junior, he was still double the size of a normal billy goat to tell you how big these guys were. You know, huge, huge billy goats. Jet black fur on Junior is a badass. This guy used to, you know, do some gambling, little, little shadow boxing. He was a, he was sort of like the sprightly one of the bunch. He was, he was swole, but he wasn't as big as the other two. But he, he had muscle. So he starts walking across this bridge to see what's what. You know, and he's clonk, 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 clobber, 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 clonk, 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 clack, clack. It's an old bridge, y'all. Deal with it. I mean, this is the best we got. We ain't got like a sound studio and shit in here, so whatever. Um, and he gets about halfway across, and all of a sudden he hears this horrible, horrible noise that says, Who's that tromping on my bridge? And he says, Oh shit, there really is a troll. So he says, uh, I'm Junior. Junior Gruff. I'm the youngest of the three Billy Goats Gruff. The troll from under the bridge shouts, I haven't eaten in a week. And Billy Goat sounds good. I'm gonna jump up there and gobble you up. Now Junior's a fast thinker. He ain't no dummy. So he says, uh, you could do that. And sure, I might fill you up a little. A little. But you said you ain't eaten in a week, man. You're still gonna be hungry. Uh, my brother, he's twice the size I am. He's gonna be across this bridge in about another five minutes. He'd definitely fill you up more than me. So the troll, you know, being greedy, and y'all know how greed gets. You get stupid, right? That's a lesson. That's a moral lesson. Don't get too greedy. You get dumb. So, the, uh, troll says, All right, go across the bridge. But he better show up. Or when you cross again, I'll eat you. And Junior's thinking, well shit, I ain't come back here anyway. So he says, okay. So we, you know, do, 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 do. And he's out in that nice meadow, perfect flowers, huge meadow, much bigger than the one they got. Uh, more plants, more stuff for him to do. Meanwhile, I'm just chilling back watching, catching flies. Uh, that was three I caught right there, y'all. You impressed? Say you're impressed, son of a bitch. I know you're impressed. Damn right you are. Anyway, so you know, he did that. Next comes Titus. He's a big goat. Kind of a black and white goat, you know what they call them? Like a moo cow looking goat. He's one of them motherfuckers. So he starts jumping across that bridge. Now you can tell this dude would have been like a, a linebacker, you know? He would have been a football player goat. He's a, he's a big, big goat. He goes across that bridge, and that bridge sways a little heavier. Those ropes, you know, they, they do that little thing where they tighten up, make that, like, noise when you cross. So he's all, clump, 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 eh, clump, clump, eh. He gets about halfway across, and again, that troll. Who's that clumping across my bridge? Titus says, it's me. Titus Gruff. What's your problem, man? See, Titus wasn't afraid of stuff like that. Titus had cut a few fools, you know? Titus gambled a lot. Probably a problem. But, you know, we threw them dice, played a little poker. Titus, Titus lived rough. That's how he rolled. And the troll says, Good. You sound much heavier. You made the whole bridge shake. I'm gonna hop up there and gobble you up. Now, Titus knows his brother the OG gangster that nobody messes with. This dude is like a freight train of goats. He is giant. Is on his way already. He's getting ready to start crossing. So he looks back like this. Looks down. Chuckles. And says, uh, yeah, you could do that. You could. But if you really want a meal, I suggest you wait for my brother. He is the biggest goat you have ever seen. And, uh, I'm sure you can easily take it. No problem, man. You got this. You got this. I believe in you. So the troll says, Oh, fine. Get out of here before I change my mind. So, you know, off Titus goes. Doop, 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 doop. The third Billy Goat Gruff is huge. Huge, huge. So big they call him Apollo. He is godlike. He is huge. Think of 
a full-size Dodge Ram, and that's what I'm talking about in Billy Goat form, with huge, sharp, sharp horns. This goat goes down. He's a goat that protects his whole family, protects that whole group of goats. Nobody messes with him. Bears run up to him, slaps that shit right off the mountain. Bam! He don't play. So he starts to make his way across the bridge. You know, he is sort of sober-backed. He's, he's a little gray. He's got a little black in there in his fur. He's a wise goat. He's tough. He's got scars all over him. He's battle ready. He starts going across that bridge and it sounds like it might damn near collapse. Boom, 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 boom. The bridge is swinging like crazy, like a whole bunch of people just swinging it back and forth, just like, like that. Now the troll's definitely awake and notice, and then he's hungry as hell because he's let two basically fast food meals just go by him. He says, uh, who is that dropping on my bridge? And Apollo Gruff says, it's me, the oldest Billy Goat Gruff. And I'm going to cross, and you ain't stopping me. Now the troll sees this as a direct challenge and leaps right up there on that bridge. Ah! And he says, No, oh, but you're wrong. Now I'm going to run toward you and gobble you up. Now, Apollo's used to trash talking, so we don't even flinch. He looks at him and says, Son of a bitch. You come near me, I'm going to poke your eyes out with my horns. I'm going to crush your bones and toss you right into that river. Right down there. You see that shit, bitch? That's going to be you in a minute. Down there. So, bang, it happened. They're rushing at each other. The troll's all, ah. But you know, he's sloppy. He ain't thinking right. And here comes Billy Goat Gruff, confident as an OG. He is tough. His horns are like swords. And they... BAM! He just cuts the eyes right out of that troll, smashes straight through his skull, and keeps running like a freight train. Rushes him like a linebacker cutting through a crowd. Just BOOM! Knocks him straight off that bridge. Gets to the other side, calls the other goats over. And one by one they all go over that bridge all held held high, like, yeah, that's right, bitch. How we roll around there. You see what my man did? So that, my friends, is the true story of those three gangster goats. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe and follow. We're going to have more of these. Again, this whole segment's called Storytime for Grown Ups. Uh, this is one, but certainly not the last. We got more. Uh, and we have a few other playlists we're going to start doing. Instead so of doing different channels, we're just going to go into playlists. It's easier. Um, so yeah, and if you guys got a story you would like me to do, a favorite of yours from your childhood you want to see grown up. I don't know what other word to use, so we're going to go with grown up. I made it a word. How's that? Then uh, drop it in the comments, baby. Alright, subscribe, like, share. Y'all have a good day, baby. Keep it smooth. Keep it smooth.